In uh, the Assembly of Honor in 2008, the assembly was interrupted when I was at the mic trying to thank and recognize veterans, and two members of the Oregon chapter chosen few organization, Lou Rumpakis, his wife, Audrey, and Bill Chisholm approached the stage with, uh, with a big box and said, I'm sorry, was something we need to do right now. The chosen few is from the chosen reservoir in North Korea, 1950. Unbelievable story. You need to look it up. You need to read about it because it's amazing what they did and accomplished there. Here is the famous breakout waterhouse painting of the breaking out of the mountains of the Chosin Reservoir and all of them have autographed it and there's only a couple still living today. This here is a plaque that the Chosen Few Oregon Chapter gave me in 1997 but they surprised me with this jacket. And it took them three years of collecting patches from veterans that have been coming to all the Living History Days. And as you can see, there is a lot of history here. And a lot of impressive patches. And I'm embarrassed to say, I don't know what some of them are. That's my goal as I get retired and older is I want to learn about all of them. I do know that there's some impressive one. Of course, the chosen few, ex-prisoners of war, USS Indianapolis, um, the Tuskegee Airmen. Uh, I mean, I could go on the 1st Marine Division, um, Air Cav, the, uh, the 10th Mountain Division. I mean, I could, I could talk for a lot for many of them. There's a lot of impressive things. And, Audrey Rumpakis hand sewed all of these on and I never wear this except at veteran related events where I'm asked to speak. I do not wear it any other time. I feel that it's it's only right to wear it them as a way of saying thank you and recognizing veterans. I, I don't feel it's right to wear this in public but uh, it's an amazing, amazing gift. Looking Back with Buckles is a series of short stories with Ken Buckles. This web series is about past and present veteran friendships, awards, medals, and gifts Ken has received, as well as many other stories related to Living History Day and Remembering America's Heroes events. find out more or to watch another short story, visit backwithbuckles.com.